Peace, blessings, universal greetings. This is Omega Sun, your man C, live from the third rock, uh, from the sun, called Earth, tiny little blue ball in the middle of space. Um, I'm gonna tell you straight up and down what we don't need right now. You know, according to the events that have happened this past weekend, you know, um, of course, sympathies and condolences out to the Martin and Fulton families. Um, yes. You can be speechless. You can, you can have emotion. There's a right to do that. But we also must be wise and strategic with our actions and responses. See, too often we have been a reactionary community not a revolutionary community. A revolution not in the sense that we have to take up arms and you know burn the place down and come up with radical thoughts and ideas. Yeah, we do have to make a, a drastic change, but it's more into the attitude of our beings and ourselves and the communication that we give to each other. The way to win this war is through love. You say, how do I say that? Look, we've burned down things before, and it's usually right in the community that you live in. That does a disservice to the grandparents, the elders, the the younger children around the area, and it does a disservice to you if you want to get back and forth to uh, complete your livelihood. Now, I know there's those people that live in the streets but you know, we also got to tighten that up too. You're killing senselessly over things that are minuscule in life. It's not like, yo, my family ain't eating, you know, you got half a bar soap in the house. No, man. Because I guess, you know, you, you lost the compassion some people have. Um, you may feel down and out and you lost the will to win, the will to strive and to succeed. The ability to share, which our people, uh, when I say our people, I mean the darker people, the Moors people, um, so-called black, indigenous people. And I use these terms right now just to, you know, show that black is not a dirty term. It's a key element in the midst of space in order for stars to be born the key darkness for the soil of the soil for the seed to sprout roots and to grow up it is from which the child is born in the womb that darkness that blackness so if you hear the word black don't automatically think something dreadful wicked and, 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 and fearful as what the propaganda so long in this country and of course the world has been you know, and so when you hear the word Morris, don't also think that it's a clandestine thing. Is you know, it's some Illuminati term, it's some mystical spookism, or it's some witchcraft, uh, or a super scientifical, super linguistic, you know, legal term and everything. It is, it is a mind state. It is a birthright. It is a nationality. And the 15th article in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights from the General Assembly 35 in December 10th, 1948, UN, United Nations, they put together this, this, um, this form, this declaration, uh, in, with contributions from all the nations that are in the United Nations and those without that wanted to be in the United Nations. And the 15th article said that everyone is have the right to a nationality. And that chooses you, that, that, that I won't say that chooses you, that gives you the choice of coming into terms with your own body of knowledge your own history, your own lineage, something that you can actually pass on. And I only say that, you know, because there's no black land, there's no Negronia, things of that nature.
but not to detract what I'm saying, I, you know, let me put it back in, in, in perspective. The young man, and I'm trying hard to call him a young man, that um, was found not guilty and acquitted for the slaying of this other young man, Trayvon Martin, is not what we so-called white, not Caucasian like that, not even European like that, you know, just because you hear the word Zimmerman, it has connotations of that, of a Jewish name, and we can get into that all day long as names have been changed, and he also has an Hispanic or a Spanish background as well, so we're not talking about a full Aryan person or, you know, and, and there's, uh, um, how should I say, there's historical context that takes the word Aryan out of this conversation as well. So we'll use the word European or Caucasian, or as I say, the Pell Man. This is not a derogatory um, blog about, you know, um, racial lines and things of that nature. This is more about the essence of right and wrong and where do we go from these situations. And like I said, love is ultimately going to be the strongest weapon in what you see as these mishap of events. I don't want to call it a war. Let's call it a conflict. When you start using certain terms, you, you, you redefine it and you build a case totally different from its inception. And I hope you know. I hope you really understand what I'm saying because I'm trying to choose my words carefully in order for you to get a gist of how deep this really is, but also how simple this really is. The love for ourselves and our community is going to stop us from rioting and also start us and the people, and I mean the people in the immediate communities, to use the resources that we have amongst each other so we can live stronger another day and be well respected in that sharing. Now, people will disagree with you sharing with one another, but that's expected because there are people out there like that. But you can't be concerned what people outside of the circle is doing. You have to be concerned what you're doing in your circle. So writing is not the key. All right. Secondly, we don't need any more entertainers. We don't need any basketball players. And this is for future lines of growth down the road for the next generation to understand. We don't even need any more ministers, imams, and things of that nature. We need doctors healers actually we need electricians we need builders engineers surveyors plumbers marine biologists metallurgists we need people that are able to take resources and galvanize them in a way where people can benefit off of life Okay, we don't even need any more lawyers. There's too many laws on the books anyway. There's too many statutes and codes and uh, um, what else? Rules and regulations that are, I mean, volumes long. And each volume has about 849 to 1,000 and, and, and 200 pages. Like, with the bureaucracy itself and the loopholes within the bureaucracy, you definitely would have to pay somebody hours at a time and, and extreme amounts of money just to get a glimpse of what the loophole is and you have to have a lot of money to do that and it's not fair to the common people even the people that we call European and okay it's not even fair to them and I don't like to make this the us them thing because we're all part of the broad human family but I say us them as far as there are people that are righteous and there are people that are not righteous Okay, and, and that's clear. You got the people who have the best interests of the world together and, and have the best interests of the world at heart, and there are people that don't. They do a disservice to this planet. 
And that's what I care about. Not just this planet, but the other planets as well. And you say, well, why would you even take it there? Because we live in a communal universe where everything thrives off of uh, off its neighbor, off the harmony it could create with another form of energy from uh, being close to it or, or, or in, in close proximity to it. The reason we're surviving right now, 93 million miles away from the sun, is just right. It won't get too hot and it won't get too cold. Jupiter, the largest planet, blocking other um, forms of objects from the deep outer space from hitting us. In correct proximity to make this cause known. To bring the, the self of love to its fullest fruition. And you know, I, I may be going off on a rant right now because there's a lot of things I could say that, you know, I feel infuriated. And many people do. But this is my way of trying to, to calm things down, but not pacify. I don't want to appease the people just to um, make them feel safe. And like I said, it's, it's not a clear definition of uh, who's them, who's the day they talking about. No, we're not doing that. Those are little kid games. All right? If you're for right, you're for right. I'm with you. If you're for, if you're for the cause of the righteousness of the people and you're for the cause of people having freedom, justice, and equality, key terms you can you know you can look them up somewhere and say oh you know it's part of this nation it's part of that nation no these are general principles to survive in any day and time on this planet freedom justice and equality food clothing shelter that's the pursuit of happiness everybody deserves that as long as you have breath in your lungs and a sensible mind even a non-sensible mind deserves this. And, and not to be judged for wanting to attain it. But we also must look into our means, the, the means that we take upon to attain it. You know, and we can't condone foolishness anymore. I mean, once you do that, you basically acquiesce all the, the morality that you have within you because you're condoning something that does a disservice to, to to us globally, universally, spiritually, and eternally. I know, I, you know, I, this, this is a hard topic. I didn't want to address it, you know. Um, I definitely didn't want to blog about it. I try to do as many light blogs as possible. But just in case somebody wants to know, you know, um, how to articulate these emotions in a, in, a, in a wise sense. I hope I'm coming close to it for you viewers. I hope I'm coming close to it for you viewers. And I'm not using any curse words. I can. I could do all that. I'm from the from the hood for real. Cypress Hills, East New York. Brooklyn. And, and not even in the house all the time like that. I mean, outside where it gets down at on the outside distractions and just to let you know that I'm not here by myself <laughs> this is a world that we all exist in there's builders building behind me there's people doing business there's planes going around there's people sport and play everything is happening where are you what, what, what are we going to do next because we've galvanized enough emotion now we have to galvanize, galvanize movement. We have to organize and mobilize around strategy. And it's being done, as you see, San Francisco, New York, four or five different places. Florida. Basically, it's about to be global. And it, and it already has been. You know, I'm, I'm really like, picking up on it now. The bigger question, I, I think, is... Will it be to the scale that people begin to change? I mean, in a real way. 
There shouldn't be a, such a thing as Chirac. I don't know. There's beautiful people in Chicago. Okay? And we can't let the mess of a few spoil the livelihood and, and the beautiful spirits of the kings and queens and, and the philosophers and the free thinkers and the beautiful builders of that city and the towns around it. But a shout out to you guys that do this disservice, you need to clean up. Because your mess, the mess that you make will visit you. And that's justice. And that's not a threat. It's a karmic, it's a karmic energy that the mess you put out ultimately comes back to you. And I hope it really does. And I hope you have time to change. I hope you have the will to change. Because there's so many beautiful lives that you could be that you could be building with and, and helping to develop rather than destroy. And it's not just for Side Town, it's for every town that looks like Sarajevo, Libya, Egypt right now, Sierra Leone, parts of Mexico, uh Juarez. You know, we, we have a, a, a stronger responsibility now and you know maybe this young brother's passing and demise I would even go say lynching yeah and if you don't know what that is just google that but I'm gonna keep it calm hopefully this sparks a, a change of ideals a change of of manhood of teenage rite of passage where we're no longer into the foolishness stage of things but we're more into where I'm going to be in the next five years type of thinking where I'm going to be in the next ten years type of thinking because as a teenager you don't really think about things like that sometimes you'll wake up in the morning feel invincible sometimes you wake up in the morning and say F the world and you have the right to do that you have it, it's okay to do that but how you compartmentalize it and how you respond to it makes you who you are and then you either become an example or you become a nuisance and an eyesore to the people around you I hope you become beneficial from it you know you become to be a useful person rather than a person that we have to point at and say you know what that guy has to go but that's where it's coming to now, especially for the older black men like myself and, and, and many others. Even for the people, the teenagers that are at your age that see you destroying things around them, they may have to join up the fight. And they will. If you're not, do, if you're not being a beneficial part of the, of the situation. In a nutshell, foolishness is coming to an end quickly, for sure. That's where the real revolution is, the foolishness. I'm riding on that. I'm riding against foolishness. And we all fall victim to it sometimes, and, and we all need to get checked sometimes. You know, so man up, woman up, put the big boy shorts on, pick, pick your the big girl your shorts on and let's motivate let's be motivated let's be inspired to do better no more turn up ratchet oh I'm gonna get it get it going get it popping and all that can it I would say something else but like I said I'm not I'm trying not to curse I'm trying to lift the curse in my own little way I hope you're enlightened entertained or informed I say peace to you. Uh, I might do another blog or something. You know, it's a beautiful day. It's going to get real hot. We ain't here in NY. You know, I'm in an undisclosed location. I will not tell you. <laughs> but trust is still on earth. I'm still grounded. Still have love in the air. All right? Live fully. Love freely. Be responsible. All right. B-Box Radio tonight.
Check that out. 7.30 to 9.30, internet radio station, B-Box. Sugar Water Radio, PCR, guys. Um, Tariq Nasheed, Mac Lessons Radio Show. Check check for it. Good post. Uh, the brother is deep. The brother is, is on point. Uh, you cosmic freak. I, you know, I see you out there, girl. Um, that's a YouTube channel. Uh, of course, ForbesDVD.com. Love their work. Globalgrind.com. It's getting it in. And, you know, I don't name drop a whole bunch of stuff like that. I don't have too much products. Oh, MCA, if you need, um, uh, if you need extra income, you can start with $40 and become your own boss. Tagline down low. All right? www.mca cash freedom. C A S H freedom. Dot com, all right. Log into that if you you know sign into that forty dollars, and you can uh um be a customer service rep. Get eighty dollars on each referral. Okay, yeah, two hundred percent commissions. If you like what you hear about that, you know feel free to contact me and I, I help you get involved in it. It's a beautiful situation, and this is one of the things that can help us grow economically sound to make the moves that we need to make and I'm not I'm not like I said I'm not a, a promoter like that I'm not a marketer like that I help provide a service and as many services that are beneficial to our community I'm gonna promote I'm gonna, I'm gonna let let that be known actually I'm gonna let it be manifest I'm gonna give you the word on it if it's not beneficial to our community you're not gonna hear from me all right you know that's where I'm at with it right now. I bid you love, peace, and you know much success in your, in your travels. Thank you.